two. Oh, one, two, three. Clap on the two of the four. 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 And that's what we call clapping on the two of the four. Throw out the one and the three. Throw out the one and the three. Of course, there's always the option to clap on all four beats. The one, the two, the three, and the four? Yeah. Sounds tiresome. That's why I don't recommend it unless you're, like, a racquetball player or someone with a high metabolism. If you want a good example of clapping on all four beats, check out the rainbow version of Since You've Been Gone. It works pretty well on that song, but I don't recommend it for most so. You recommend sticking with the two and the four. Actually I recommend you resist the urge to clap altogether. Ignore it until it passes. So, don't even try? Try it in private. Just like any musical behavior, you don't want to do it out in public until you have a pretty clear sense that you don't suck at it. Like I was saying, try it in private. You don't want to do it out in public until you have a pretty clear sense that you don't suck at it. Me, personally? Everybody. If you're a human being, chances are you're doing it wrong. I've seen Tina Turner clap badly. Then isn't that proof it's okay to clap badly? No, it's proof the universe is an absurd place. Out of balance out of rhythm. What's the big deal about clapping? And how does what you're saying even make sense? I mean, if you were supposed to start on two, it would be called one, not two. Well, that's just it. Clapping isn't a start, it's a response to a start. Unless you're listening to some kind of really old European folk music, any music that makes you want to clap along is probably based on the back beat which is the second and fourth beat of a four-beat measure. In popular songs, the clue for finding the two and four is very often the snare drum. Check this out. Check it out.
Wow, the snare drum is kind of a sharp sound, like a drum version of hands clapping. You said it was like a drum version of hands clapping. I like that. And in most drum beats, the bass drum starts and the snare drum follows as a response. So it makes total sense that clapping would not start on the one. Awesome. Right? Let's spread the word about the two and the four. Spread the word that, when in doubt, for the love of all that is holy, don't clap. Or at very least, follow the snare drum. Except in some cases, including a lot of reggae music, where the bass drum often takes the place of the snare drum. Maybe dancing is better than clapping when it comes to reggae. Because looking like an idiot is preferable to sounding like an idiot. Wow, I totally think you're onto something. In fact, what if we say it's not just reggae, but make it a general rule, it's better to look like an idiot than sound like an idiot. Speaking of looking like an idiot. What would be your advice to a person if somebody hands them a tambourine? That has happened to me before and I was horrified. I didn't know what to do. This is important. If someone hands you a tambourine, hand it back. When you do this, the person will resist your resistance, because they don't understand what you understand. And they mistakenly believe that it's a case of, you're not understanding what they understand. They will put up a fight. Even if you place the tambourine on the floor, they will pick it up and insist you make noise with it. At this point, you must use that feeling of being horrified. Let it wash over your face. Tell the person your dog was injured by a tambourine. The dog got through the ordeal with no lasting problems but... Yes? At this point, you start to break down. You start to tremble. Press the tambourine to the person's chest, put your hands to your face and run away. That would not only get me out of the awkward situation but will help the cause immeasurably. Straight up, yo. We have to change minds out there. Minds. Hearts. Souls.